organized, efficient, and punctual. No! Your power no! I'm not organized! Look at my background! This is from like a day, a, a couple of days ago! There's still chips in this bag! I'm still gonna eat them! This is not... There was a reason why I didn't eat these chips! But get it. What it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous AZ. Okay, so look, Pete Gang, I saw a video recently, and it is called What's Your Hidden Power? A True Simple Personality Test. Now, me, I have a very unique type of personality, and I don't really know the uniqueness of it because, you know, I'm from the inside uh, looking out. But since I've always been me, it's kind of hard for me to figure out what those traits are. Now, with that being said, that's why today we are going to take a personality test. You feel me? Now, if you guys want to watch the original video, the link is going to be in the description down below. It is by Brightside. Let go. Find out your hidden power with a simple test. Hidden within all of us is a secret power. But you might spend your whole life without a clue as to what yours is. Luckily, this test will reveal the truth. After each question, you'll have 15 seconds to choose an answer. You'll also see how many points your answers have earned you, so grab a pen and keep track of your score. At the end of the test, you'll need to add up all your points to find out what your hidden power is. Alright guys, so grab yourself a pen and a pad. Uh, me, I have this bill that I don't plan on paying. And yeah, <laughs> let's do this. What color combination do you like the most? A. Crimson, orange, and baby blue. B. Turquoise, dark green, and red. C. Spring green, gray, and light green. D. Yellow, blue, and navy blue. E. Brown, light gray, and dark gray. Me, I got, I'm choosing D. I like that little animation. Right. So for me, it's D. I like D the best out of all of these. Score. If you have chosen A, give yourself 30 points. As for B, that'll be 20 points. You get 50 points for C, 40 points for D, and 10 for choosing E. Question number two. Uh. You can have just one. What will you choose? A. Body B. Mind C. Soul D. Harmony E. Nothing What the? Who picks E? You want nothing? I guess I'll pick D, man. B is worth 40 points, C is 10, D will be 20, and option E will award you a whopping 50 points. Nice. Question number three. Which element is the closest to you? A, earth, B, metal, C, water, D, fire, E, wood. I like water. We're gonna go for water. Come on, water. Score. Earth lovers get 40 points for choosing A. As for B, it'll give you 50 points. Add 10 Earth? points to your tally if you chose C, Mother or 30 if you went for D. Answer E will bring you 20 points for this question. Question number four. This test sucks. Choose one animal you associate yourself with. A. Fox, B, wolf, C, cat, D, tiger, E, other. Dang. Say, uh, let me see. Okay, so wolf, yes, but. I hear wolves aren't that crafty. I said fox. 
Uh, or a tiger. What's smarter? I'd say other. I like coyotes. It's real. Score. If you opted for A, you now have 40 more points. Answer B equals 10 points and C is 50 points. If your answer is D, that's another 30 points. And if you aren't sure about your totem animal and chose E, give yourself another 20 points. You meow at him. Someone show up with a pistol. You try to lick their hand. Huh? Is that what's good in the streets? Question number five. How do you normally feel before an important event? A. Anxious. B. Confident. C. Useless. D. Hopeful. E. Bored out of your mind. I would have to say A. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna sit here and lie. It's like a mixture of anxious and confident, yo. Uh, give yourself 40 points for answer A, or 30 points if you went for B. If you pick C, that's 10 points. D will give you 50 points, and D is worth 20 points. Why does this test just seem random? Question number six. If you had to choose an activity you'd like to do more often than now, what would it be? A. Spend more time studying. B. Walk more in the park. C. Spend more time in the comfort of your home. D. Go shopping and eat out. E. Other. Bro, that's D. 100%. That's D. All day, every day. Who wants to study more? If you just want to study more, give yourself 20 points for choosing A. As for those who went with B, you get 30 points. Homebodies can add 10 points to their tally for choosing C. As for D, 50, it'll 50, give you 50, 40 50. more points, and E Close is 50. Enough. How does other get you the most points? You don't even know what I'm picking! Bruh, this, this is so random. Random! Question number seven. Which of the following describes you the best? A. Mature. B. Brainy. C. Sensitive. D. Introvert. E. Extrovert. I'm either E or a C. Because I love music. Your maturity for answer A will award you 10 points. As for the brainy folks who went for B, you get 30 points. C is worth 20 and D is 40. As for you extroverts who chose E, you get 50 points. Okay, that's what's up. Question number eight. Choose a location for the best weekend of your life. Oh, a, yes. in the mountains. B, no. in the countryside. No. C, in a forest cabin. That D, one could do good. at the seaside. E, okay, doing something extreme like rock climbing or abseiling. No. Uh, in a forest cabin? I say D. That's usually what I be doing when I be going, like, when I be out chilling and stuff. I be going for D. D is worth 40. If you've opted for D, that's 10 points to your score. As what for the... those who prefer the thrill of answer E, you get 30 points. Dang it! Question number nine. What sense do you rely on most of all? A. Touch. B. Taste. C. Smell, D, hearing, E, sight. Dang, man, for me it's either A or E. I say D. D's, because you know what I mean? I love listening to a lot of music and whatnot. You know what I mean? Like, I say D. Score.
For choosing A, you get 20 points, B is 50 points, C is worth 10, D is 40 points, and E gets you 30 points. Question number 10. Which problem would you solve first of all? A. Find a cure to cancer. B. End poverty. C. Stop air pollution. D. Put an end to animal abuse. E. Stop wildfires. B. I say B. You know what I mean? Because I was poor as shit when I was growing up, so I know the struggle. Best answer? That's 20 points. D will give Dang you 10 it. points, and E is worth 50. How is stopping wildfires more important than curing cancer? What? I, I mean, do I? Okay, I'm going to look up the numbers, man. Like, amount of people who are getting killed from wildfires every year. 2,500 people die every year from wildfires. Okay. Now, let's see cancer. 609,000. This year alone. What season do you prefer? A. Summer. B. Fall. C. Spring. D. Winter. E. I love them all. I would say E. Because they all have stuff you could do in them, with them. Score. If you're a summer lover, you get 40 points for choosing A. Answer B will award you 10 points, and C will give you 50. Add 30 points to your tally if you chose D. And if you just love them all and went for E, you get 20 points. Why do I feel like this isn't going to tell me anything 12. about my personality? How would you describe your personality? A. I'm friendly and always try to do something for those who need help. B. I'm super energetic. I don't like staying in one place for too long. C. I'm a sensitive person. My surroundings influence me a lot. D. I love a challenging problem. It makes me feel good when I solve it. E. I'm good at analyzing things and predicting outcomes. I'm A, unfortunately. It's bitten me in the balls a whole lot. I'm like I'm like a, a combination of A, B, D, and E. Eh, I'm pretty hell. I'll go with A. Score. If you like answer A the most, add 50 points to your score. Choosing B hey, will okay. give you 30 points, and C is worth 10 points. You get 20 points for D and 40 points for choosing E. Now it's time to add up your final score. You can always pause the video if you need a little more time with your calculations. Are you ready? If so, here are the results. 20, 230, 270, 300, 370. I got 370. If you scored a total right, so of 120 see. to 190 points, your hidden power lies in your extremely well-developed senses. You like to pay attention to the details, and not much slips by your keen senses. You might be a bit shy and reserved, but at the same time, you love spending time with your friends. Just make sure that focusing on the details doesn't prevent you from seeing the big picture. If your tally is between 200 and 290 points, your hidden power is your intelligence. And I'll tell you what, you're much more intelligent than you think. Your mind works differently from others, which is why you're often able to find unusual solutions to seemingly unsolvable problems. You absorb new knowledge and skills incredibly fast and are able to apply them when needed. Just don't ever let others cause you to doubt or second guess yourself. I would have to say that's probably more so of me than anything. Watch 370 ain't gonna get My score ain't even gonna have nothing to do with me. Watch For this. those who scored between 300 and 390 points, your hidden power is your speed. You're rarely late and often arrive to meetings earlier than everyone else. No! This is the exact opposite of what I am! I'm late for everything! You are organized, efficient, and punctual. No! Your power no! I'm not organized! Look at my background! This is from like a day on like a couple days ago! There's still chips in this bag! I'm still gonna eat them! This is not... There was a reason why I didn't
didn't eat these chips. But yeah, this isn't Dennis, not me. It helps you stay ahead of time and manage to get much more done than most people can say about themselves. Perhaps you could slow down a little, maybe let loose and try to relax. I, I need that one. If you've come out with 400 to 490 points, you have a hidden psychic power. This makes you pretty unique. You might not believe it, but your friends consider you a kind of a fortune teller. Your extrasensory perception helps you predict how a situation will turn out or correctly guess what people are thinking about. Just be careful not to overanalyze things so that it doesn't keep you from living your life today. For a total score of 500 to 600 points, your hidden power is your ability to read people like a book. You can easily understand when somebody is lying, and you know when people are sad, dissatisfied, happy, or hiding something. This understanding of emotions makes you a great friend, because you give the impression that you really understand what someone is going through. However, you're also great at concealing your own emotions from others. And that might not be such a good thing. I live out the only one I got! What's the one? They got nothing to do with me! This is why I always ain't take my test in school! Mother. But yo, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. If you guys wanna watch the original video, the link's in the description down below. It's your boy Blast from Sage D. Twisms.